how we can treat these patients after diagnosis, uh, the best treatment is to be able to find the cause and treat the cause. The nerves have the capacity to regenerate and grow back if you be able to find what is damaging them and prevent that from happening. A lot of times we cannot find or we cannot treat the underlying cause and uh, we use other medications to control pain. Neuropathic pain medications typically include antidepressants or anti-epileptic medications. Uh, typically we use nortriptyline, duloxetine, and sometimes midnosiprine is uh, helpful. Gabapentin, pregabalin, oxcarbazepine, and sometimes uh, lamotrigine can help. If pain is severe, may, we may need opiates, and sometimes some uh, topical agents can help to reduce the sensitivity in the skin. In some subtypes of patients uh, that have severe symptoms, and we cannot treat those symptoms with uh, these measures, we may use immunomodulatory agents such as IVIG or intravenous immunoglobulins, steroids, and some other immunosuppressive agents. There is a thought behind that that a lot of these patients have an underlying unknown autoimmune condition that is damaging the nerves, and if we modulate the immune system, these patients may feel better. And these treatments are not still FDA approved, uh, but uh, we have a lot of patients that we have to use these agents, and we have seen a lot of uh, success in that. So what are the recommendations for patients with dysautonomia that affects their cardiovascular system? So to stand up slowly to prevent the uh, drop in their blood pressure, especially after eating, urinating, or bowel movement. Increasing salt and fluid intake is important to increase the blood volume. So it's recommended to drink at least up to two liters of water daily and maybe up to 10 grams of salt. Uh, to elevate head of the bed helps to uh, keep the veins under some constant pressure and that uh, prevents a sudden drop in the blood pressure when they stand up, so that might be helpful. Up to a couple of inches, the head of the bed can uh, be raised. Compression stocking and uh, abdominal binders help to squeeze the veins and get more blood available for the rest of the body. Maximizing tissue oxygenation, uh, such as no smoking or aerobic exercises can help. Uh, some uh, situations can worsen the symptoms, such as in flying and high altitude because of low oxygen. And if patients have anemia and low albumin, that needs to be treated. Sometimes we need to refer these patients to, speci uh, to some specialities that they treat that specific organ. For instance, if they have a lot of cardiovascular uh, symptoms, you need to find a uh, cardiologist with a lot of experience treating dysautonomia patients. We usually send these patients to Dr. Grayson in uh, Mass General. And for GI symptoms, which could be quite disabling, also we uh, mostly need to use uh, uh, one of the specialists in Mass General, Dr. Ko, who is sub-specialized in nerves of the stomach and intestines, and he helps uh, these uh, dysautonomia patients. 